body cavities. Body cavities are the spaces formed in the early development of animal organisms. One very important cavity that forms early on in more complex animals is called a cellum. The cellum allows organisms to grow and move independently of the outer body layer. Let's look at the three different types of body cavity formation. Going from simple to complex, they include acelomates, as you can see at the top, are demonstrated um, in this cross-section of a flatworm. There is no body cavity um, in the mesoderm, so no sort of separate body cavity like this. And there's no cellum to help this organism develop more complex internal systems. So we'll write primitive. Pseudocelomates, such as the roundworm seen here, maintains a pseudo, meaning fake, coelom. This roundworm only has a cavity that is partially lined by mesoderm, seen here. This organism has more of an advantage than flatworms since um, it can develop a distinctly separate and more complex body system. So we're getting increasingly complex going down this list. And finally, coelomates are the most complex. Organisms that are coelomates, such as mollusks, vertebrates, and so on, have enough space for the development of complex organ systems, allowing for improved mobility, reproduction, and communication among systems. Remember that only triploblastic animals, animals with three germ layers, can possess a body cavity, but that not all do and that the presence of a cellum or a coelom helps scientists classify organisms and better understand the relatedness to other organisms.